folks, I welcome you all to Scalar Academy's YouTube channel. And this is the video number two in the SQL tutorial series. In the first video, we understood what exactly is SQL. And after that, we went ahead and created our first database and our first table. And in the second video, we'll see how to insert data into our SQL table. So we'll not at all waste time and open MySQL and go ahead and insert records into the table. So I've opened up MySQL Workbench over here. Let me go ahead and connect to my local instance. And over here again, I would have to give in my password and I have opened up MySQL Workbench. And over here in the first tutorial or in the first video, if you remember, we had created a table called as student and that student table was part of the college database. So my first task would be to use the database. So for that purpose, I'd have to write down use database. Let me also just go ahead and increase the size of the text so that you can see this properly. So here I shall write down use college and let me execute this. So we have successfully executed this and now we have opened our desired database. So the name of the database is college. And in this college database, we had created a table called as student. Now, let me also go ahead and open that table or maybe just select all of the records which are currently there in that. So for that, we had used something called as select star from student. So what this basically means is I have a table called as student and from the student table, I am selecting all of the columns and all of the records. And that is what the star means over here. Let me again hit on this thunder symbol. And as you see over here, these are the columns present. So I have this column called as SID. Then I have another column called as S first name. After that, I have a column called as S last name. And then going ahead, I have a column called as S marks. But you see that this entire table is empty because we have not yet inserted any data items into this table. So this is what this entire video is about. And in this video, we will see how to insert records. So let me just go ahead and do that. Let me decrease the size of this. So here, let me just remove this out and let me see if I can drag this down properly. Seems like I cannot do that. So instead, what I'll do is I'll just write down the command to insert data items. So what I'll do is I will write down insert into. So here you'd have to properly remember the syntax insert into other keywords. This is what you will give. After this, you will give in the name of the table. And what is the name of the table? The name of the table is student. So you shall basically write insert into student. Then you will have to give in another keyword, which is values. After that, you have to give in two round braces and inside these you can give in the values. So the first value is student ID. So let's say the first student ID is 101. Then I would have to give in the first name of the student. So let's say the first name of the student. And also, if you remember the first video properly, you would know that the first name, last name are basically var car type columns. And over here, I can give in string data type. And whenever I'd have to give in a string, I will enclose that in double quotes over here. So first name. So let's say the name of the first student is, I will write down Annie. And I would have to give in the last name as well. So let's say the last name of this person is Cleopatra. So student ID is 101, first name is Annie, last name is Cleopatra. And I'd have to give in marks as well. So let's just say Annie Cleopatra has scored around 87 marks. Now I will put in a semicolon over here and I'll select this entire thing and I will hit this thunder symbol. And we have successfully inserted this into our table. Now, just to verify this, what I'll do is I'll delete this entire thing and I shall again write down select star from student. 
And now, if I hit this thunder symbol, you will see that I have inserted these values. So we've inserted the first student or the details of the first student. So SID is 101, first name is Annie, last name is Cleopatra, and this person has scored 87 marks. Now, similarly, if I would want to insert the details of the second student, I'll do the same thing. So let me just write down insert into, then I need to give him the name of the table, which would basically be student. And I will give him the keyword values. Again, given this round braces over here. Now, let's say the next student ID is 102. Now, the name of this person is let me just write down John and the last name would be Smith. So let me just write this down properly. So this person's entire name is John Smith and John Smith has scored, let's say 56 marks. And let me end this syntax with a semicolon. Now I'll select this entire thing. I'll click on this and we have again inserted this. Now, just to verify, I'll delete this. Again, I will use the select statement. So I'll write down select star from, and I would have to give in the name of the table again. So the name of the table is student. Let me write down student over here. Let me end this with a semicolon and I'll execute this. So right now you would see that I have also inserted the second record where the student ID is 102, student first name is John, student last name is Smith, and this person has got 56 marks. So folks, this is pretty much it for this video where we have learned how to insert records into a table. So on that note, I will sign off and before we actually end this video, I request you folks that if you found this session insightful, do like the video and also subscribe to our channel. So thank you very much and let's meet in the next one.